Like, comment and subscribe. The world's largest land ring should be built enough. Explain is getting its own channel. We launch next L Book of Watch L 2350. This massive dirt moving machine is listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's largest wheel loader. And it's designed to load giant haul trucks like the Balaz. Oh shit. So these big things just This load piece is over two stories things. tall and weighs 276 <coughs> tons. While it isn't built for speed, it can carry really heavy loads of raw material like coal and copper ore. In fact, its massive shovel can carry a payload of 80 tons in one go, oh, and shit. lift it 7 meters off the ground. That's like lifting up an M1 A2 Abrams tank plus a smaller one. But this mammoth is not but the biggest one. That's not killing much, but that's... Most, the most people in the hunter. Introducing the Caterpillar 6090 FS. We've yeah, seen this is that much bigger than introducing the, the third, second biggest one. What? This looks like it would fit like the Caterpillar 6090 FS. We've seen excavators yeah. before, but none of them are as gigantic Holy as the Caterpillar 6090 FS. That's a building. Yeah. What this hydraulic that? shovel is the most powerful type of excavator of its kind and the largest in the world. It's mainly used for mining and heavy digging projects, but it can also handle any job that requires heavy lifting. This mammoth can pick up 103 tons in one go and loads nearly 10,000 tons of earth an hour. In an hour? Fucking hell. It's 13.5 meters long, 10 meters tall, and weighs 1,102 tons. To put that into perspective, that's as tall as a three-story building and is as heavy that's, as five yeah. blue whales. Three In fact, building. this big guy was built based on another giant, the Bosiris RH400. And this machine is so huge and fierce looking, it inspired the Decepticon called Demolisher in Transformers 2, Revenge of the Fallen. <laughs> This I mean, earth mover is pretty intimidating. I'm not this this next one is the less monster category. Incredibly but before we go any further, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Presenting subscribe the Lieber LR 13,000 Huh? 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 How, is it, how is it going up this exponentially? This was a three story building. What is this thing? This monster is the most powerful crawler crane in the world. The it's used in the construction of massive power plants and can lift up 3,300 tons in one load. Holy shit. Its main boom has a height of 248 meters. That's the length of two and a half football fields. I mean, no, I can things get cooler so. than this? Yes, they can. Huh? Introducing the NASA Crawler Transporter. Well, this giant was built by NASA back in the 1960s by adapting mining equipment. And if you haven't big. already guessed it, this $144 million crawler transporter is designed to carry rockets to their launch oh, base. Shit. It's also the largest self-powered vehicle That's on the madness. planet. But don't take our word for it. Here are some it's facts. It weighs 3,300 tons. That's as oh, heavy that as goes on so Liberty. It's 8 meters tall, 40 meters long, and 35 it meters wide. Basically, tall. it can fit a professional what? baseball infield really? on top of it. But this big guy isn't built for speed. So while it can carry a million pound rack at just 1.6 kilometers an hour. Oh, and when it's not loaded, there. it has a whopping top speed of 3.2 kilometers an hour. It has two operators in the opposite corners, this. so instead of reversing it, that the driver just walks to the other corner it. and drives it in the opposite and direction. Walk but that doesn't mean that navigating it is easy. In fact, taking turns is one of the crawler's biggest challenges. Before we get to number it one, let's run through the next two. Now, these aren't in use at the moment, but they're point. incredibly big and still hold world records in their own category. First, Ooh. there's Big Muskie, the biggest dragline excavator ever made. This beast weighed 12.2 million kilograms and was 22 stories high. Its swooping bucket was as big as a 12 car garage, and it was created specifically to work on mines in the It's literally a skyscraper that can move somehow. In its 22 years of service, Big Muskie removed 20 <coughs> amount of earth that was moved during the construction of the Panama Canal. Next is Schwerer Gustav Vendora. 
Gustav and Dorna were built by Germany and were actually the largest caliber rifled weapons ever used in combat. They were oh, 17 shit. meters tall, 47 meters long, and weighed nearly 1,500 tons each. But they had one flaw, they were too big. So maneuvering them to different locations Sucker. was a huge challenge since they could only travel by rail. Oh yeah. Alright, here it is. Finally, at number one, the Bagger 293. This humongous beast doesn't Holy even look like it belongs shit. on Earth, but it's been crowned the heaviest terrestrial vehicle on the planet by the Guinness Book of World Records. I mean, it looks it's like 225 it. meters long and 95 meters tall. That's like a luxury like ocean liner meters. on land. This monster weighs 15,650 tons or 15.6 million kilos, and it works in the open coal mines in Germany. So how does it work? It runs on 20,000 kilowatts of power, which is enough electricity to run a small city. It has 18 buckets like a small onto a massive city wheel in front of it, and each of these buckets can pick up 7,000 kilos of coal in one scoop. This looks like those men that have passed from there. Yeah, the coal is loaded onto a conveyor belt that connects to the main mine, and from there it's loaded onto train to power stations across the country. But this piece doesn't okay. just sit in one place. When it's done eating through one mountain of coal, it moves on to the next. At a speed of around one kilometer an hour, this giant can take weeks or months to get to the next location. And oh, any yeah. road it drives yeah, over it has to be rebuilt, because it literally crushes and destroys the concrete it passes over. Have you ever seen Fucking any of these giants up close? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget insane. to like and subscribe. <laughs> Very, very impressive with your life. Enjoy. Looking at massive teeth. Way, way too big machines and stuff.